Hey, James G here with Tarpley Music in Fort Worth, Texas. If you can always find us online if you need to. We are at tarpleymusic.com all the time. So uh, we've got a Gretsch Delta Lux parlor guitar here today. So this is from the Gretsch Acoustic Series, and this is the parlor size, but has a single coil pickup in it. And this is the Delta Lux sound hole pickup, and uh, it's very simple, just plug and play. It gets you a little bit of sound, right? So the guitar itself, these are actually laminated Sapelli back sides and tops. So great wood. It's nice and laminated. Several, several layers there for durability's sake and for volume for a small guitar. Semi-gloss finish with this nice flat kind of black. Uh, the thing that really pops out with this is they've got a tortoise shell uh, binding around. Um, so it's very subtle, but it's really cool on this black top and then going into the Sapelli back and sides, especially for a price of, for a price point that it's at. That's, that's pretty cool, uh, in, in my opinion there. So we've got a walnut fretboard with a 12-inch radius. The, the neck is made out of NATO wood, and uh, this does have X bracing here and the, the uh, soundboard of the guitar. And this is 18 frets. It hits the body at the 12th frets. And so being a parlor size, the scale length, which is the uh, measurement between the bridge and the nut there, is 24 inches. To give you an idea, you, your standard dry nut's 25.5, so a little bit more playing area, but then a much smaller uh, body for portability's sake, or if you're stuck in the corner of a gig or whatever it is. Um, and sometimes it's just a great, fun, sitting in the backyard, smaller guitar to pick on. So really cool. Synthetic bone nut there, and the bridge is also a walnut and it does come with a compensated saddle. You can see it is compensated, it is a little offline here. It's got a dent there for the B string that basically helps with your tuning and your intonation to make sure the, you know, the tuning is accurate all the way up the fretboard. So very important and great to be at a guitar level uh, of this price point to have it, it's great. So open gear die cast tuners just to give a really cool kind of a vintage-y uh, vibe there. You know, and of course three per side. Uh, nickel finish. I like these little white buttons. I think they get a really cool vintage. Uh, it really kind of matches and pulls out the, the nut and the saddle there and, and the bridge pins as well. So very cool vintage-y uh, looking there. And then it looks like there's actually a brass actual gear there on the tuning, but they hold pretty pretty well, uh, like I said, for, for guitar of this level. And then of course we got the sound hole pick up there and the tortoise shell pick guard to match the neck and the uh, body binding. So uh, we're going to be able to play this direct. Since it does have a pickup, we're going to say, hey, if you just plug it right into your interface, this is what you're probably going to get. And then we will mic it up as well. We'll do a combination of both of those. And we'll try to play some strumming stuff and some finger styles. So we try to give you an overall view of how this little guy sounds.
little guy uh, by itself direct and plugged in and a combination of that but let's throw it in the mix and see how it sounds come on hit it boys <laughs>
blacktop Delta Lux Parlor, right? Um, pretty impressive pickup for not having any controls. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it really is just plug in, you know, it's very, and it looks really, really cool. It's totally, totally different. Um, and it's really snug in there. Um, and from a playing standpoint, I, it didn't, I don't feel like it got in the way. Uh, it sounded just fine there. It was kind of cool to be able to add that a little bit to the mic setup just to figure out uh, tone. So we try to do it real basic and just kind of hear. So we're just really trying to let the guitar speak for itself, good, bad, or ugly, right? Uh, and we're just trying to let that do. Uh, black top works really well. Like I said, the binding really pops out well. So um, not just for younger players, but I think older players who want just a fun little 12 fret kind of a small picking guitar, don't want to break the bank. This is a great series to look at. You should check out all the Gretsch, the the parlors and the, I mean the Delta Lux and the the Jim the Dandy series. Just for the money, it's really kind of we were surprised. Uh, we had a guess of what they would be priced at, and they were about half of what we thought. <laughs> so if that gives you any uh, from a retail standpoint, we're like, oh, okay, very cool. So uh, I hope you liked listening to this little uh, parlor guitar and learned something about some Gretsch acoustics. There's not a uh, a ton of them, um, but the ones that are there, I think, are doing really cool. They really got a focus on what they're trying to do with their acoustics. And it's been a pleasure uh, playing the guitars there. So if you like this video, eh, give a little thumbs up there to like it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. We really appreciate it. Need all the support we can get. We need all the comments we can get. If you got questions or something to say there, if you just want to, you know, poke fun at me, that's fine too. Yeah, that's what we do here. It's all good. I'm uh, totally immune to it. Uh, just having a blast here. So, uh, and if you'd like to know, we're dropping more videos because we are we do drop videos every single week. Um, and so you can just turn on the notifications there, and then we'll see you on the next one.